Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today Microsoft released another build for the beta and release preview channel. After updating to the latest build, the build number changes to 22000.466. With this build, Microsoft has fixed improved the reliability of application installations on ARM64 devices. Also, fix an issue that causes ARM64 devices to stop responding when they hibernate or resume from hibernation. Microsoft fix an issue that might cause VPN profiles to disappear. This issue occurs when you use Microsoft Intune or third-party mobile device management MDM, tool to deploy VPN profiles on Windows 11. Microsoft also fix an issue that might cause the Get TPM PowerShell command to fail when it attempts to report trusted platform module TPM, information. Microsoft also fix an issue that causes a remote desktop protocol RDP, session to disconnect to the screen to be blank for server core. This issue occurs when you install the app Compit feature. Microsoft also fixed some issues that affect File Explorer's performance when you browse for files and select files. Microsoft has now added a new Microsoft account page to the Accounts category in Windows Settings for Home and Professional Editions. Microsoft fixed an issue that incorrectly shows the volume icon in the taskbar is muted. Has also fixed an issue that prevents the touch keyboard from appearing on the lock screen when a device has a Microsoft account MSA. Microsoft has also fixed an issue that prevents some options from appearing on the Win Plus X menu. Microsoft also fixed an issue that causes a device to stop working when it's connected to multiple displays. Fix an issue that affects the auto-hide feature of the taskbar. The taskbar might not reliably appear when you hover over the primary or secondary display. Fix an issue that displays outdated battery percentages for connected Bluetooth devices on the Bluetooth and other devices page in settings. Microsoft has now improved the auto brightness algorithm to provide a better response under low light conditions on all the supported systems. Also fix an issue that might prevent some image editing programs from rendering colors correctly on certain high dynamic range HDR, displays. This frequently affects white colors that might display in bright yellow or other colors. Fix an issue that affects predictive pre-rendering in Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode. Microsoft has also made some fixes for IMS. So, that was all new from Microsoft. If you want to know more, check out Microsoft's official blog post. Link will be in description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.